of your day. Yeah, part of your weekend. Yes, it's uh, it's nearly time to get your weekend started. It's Black Friday, so be careful out there. Pretty good idea actually to stay home. But this is this and Boxing Day are the uh, the two times of the year that you see the most rude shoppers out there. So probably just as well that you stay home. Uh, never mind that it's a pandemic anyway. <laughs> that being said, uh, we have our weekly pandemic update with Six Nations elected chief, Mark Hill. Welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you, Al? Oh, fantastic. I thought that was Johnny Lang. You corrected me. Yeah, well, it did sound like Johnny Lang, didn't it? <laughs> Well, thank you so much again, Al, for the opportunity to join you this week. Yes, sir. Uh, Scannell, Sago, and good afternoon, Six Nations. I hope this message finds you and your family safe and healthy, both physically and mentally. I want to start by going straight into our update on our community's COVID-19 case numbers. Uh, since last Friday, the number of active cases has increased from one to now two cases. This slight increase is not a reason for great concern. However, I hope it does remind us all that the virus is still very much here and that we still have to be very careful. This is the first increase our community has seen since the spike in cases that took place after the long uh, Thanksgiving week in October. Our public health officials strongly believe that the spike in COVID-19 cases was connected to personal gatherings over the Thanksgiving weekend. Yesterday, uh, was Thanksgiving in the United States, and I want to send my love and best wishes uh, to our neighbors across the border gathering throughout the weekend, obviously with the COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, last week, I had asked our own community members to consider staying home this year uh, because of the continued threat of COVID-19, uh, and that there are many ways to visit and stay connected virtually, uh, perhaps taking the time to teach or learn a new way of connecting with your family, such as Zoom uh, or FaceTime, and again, for Christmas shopping deals, I know you mentioned, Al, with the Black Friday, you know, we're strongly encouraging trying online ordering, uh, curbside pickup, or shopping locally to support our businesses in the community. Uh, we know that the number of cases in the United States is much higher than ours, and that by traveling there, you are putting yourself and your community at risk of catching and spreading the virus. If you did decide to go ahead and travel to the United States, you must self-isolate for the 14 days after your return home. While you isolate, please monitor yourself for symptoms of COVID, like a fever, dry cough, or shortness of breath. It is important to remember that a person can be infected with the virus without showing any symptoms, so you, you have to self-isolate whether you are showing symptoms or not. You can visit sixnationscovid19.ca for more tips on monitoring yourself for COVID-19 symptoms. Uh, to those returning from the United States, please let our public health officials at the Asse uh, Six Nations Assessment Center know of your travel and your plans to self-isolate by calling 226-446-9909 or the toll-free number at 1-855-977-7737. You can also make arrangements with them for a COVID-19 test. I want to thank you in advance for making the responsible decision to self-isolate to protect yourselves and the friends and family you care for. Each of us must remain vigilant and take every measure we can to stay at home and away from the threat of catching the virus. Uh, this week, our elected council approved the Emergency Control Group's new system for monitoring how our community is doing in the fight, of, uh, in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, the new color-coded system will ref uh, reflect Ontario's, although ours will have some additional measures to reflect the realities of our community and the fact that First Nations peoples are more likely to catch, spread, and experience the symptoms of the virus. Our emergency control group worked with public health officials, the Six Nations police, our communications team, and many others from the community to create the new improved system. We ask that you please stay tuned to our website, our Facebook channels, and these, uh, these updates next week for more information on the new system. And remember that the color we find ourselves in and whether we increase or decrease public health measures depends on how well we as a community listen to the current measures that are in place. I would like to remind everybody that face coverings are mandatory in all indoor public spaces and for ride services, and that unmonitored indoor and outdoor gathering sizes have been reduced to household members only. And as a continued precaution for the health and safety of our elders and knowledge keepers, 
Non-essential visitors are still not permitted at Iroquois Lodge at this time. We continue to strongly encourage members not to travel to the hotspot areas, including the Toronto, Peel regions, Ottawa, Hamilton, and, the United uh, and as well as the United States, unless absolutely necessary. We continue to plead with any visitors or returning members to please respect the COVID-19 measures we have in place, including the responsibility to self-isolate and monitor yourself for symptoms, especially after any travel. Contact tracing is still a very important tool we use to contain and slow the spread of COVID-19 within our community. So please consider keeping a journal or using a voice recording app on your phones uh, to keep track of your activities and the people you interact with over the past 14 days. You could also consider downloading the federal government's COVID-19 alert app. Again, we must all continue to follow the core health and safety principles in the fight against COVID, which are staying home when feeling ill, even if your symptoms are mild, only leaving your household for essential purposes, only gathering with those within your household, maintaining physical distance from others outside of your immediate household, as well as wearing a face covering when in public places, cleaning your hands regularly with soap and water or hand sanitizer, and regularly cleaning and disinfecting commonly touched surfaces within your home and at work. If you would like to again arrange a COVID-19 test, please call the Six Nations Assessment Center at 226-446-9909 or toll free at 1-855-977-7737. A couple of other important numbers to remember include the COVID-19 hotline for businesses at 519 750-4908, as well as the Emergency Food Support Service at 519-717-3403. A reminder that they are open Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. In other community news, and as a direct response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Elected Council is leading the Internet Towers Project to enhance Wi-Fi connectivity for our students learning from home as well as all of our employees working from home. This project is part of a larger plan and strategy to strengthen our community's ability to connect to the internet. Starting on November 30th from 9 a.m. To, uh, to 10 p.m., uh, we will hold our first of six virtual uh, information sessions uh, where community members will have the chance to learn about the internet projects and share their questions and concerns. The other sessions will take place on December 3rd 7th, 10th, 14th, and lastly on the 17th. Again, this is to ensure that every member has a chance to listen, learn, and share their thoughts. Please visit our website, Facebook, and Twitter channels for specific times and information on how you can join the sessions. I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome Six Nations' own Cindy Jameson as the new director of Ogoni Dao. She brings a wealth of experience to the role and will ensure that Ogwini Dao continues to deliver quality child and youth protection services in a culturally appropriate, effective, and accountable manner. Cindy has over 20 years of experience in child and family services, infant and supportive child development, and working with youth both here in Six Nations as well as British Columbia. So we want to congratulate Cindy and welcome her aboard. Again, in other community news, uh, yesterday, the elected council informed the courts of our wishes to end injunctions on our people. Uh, we hope that this is a step towards healing all relations here within Six Nations. We know that getting the best results for our people means creating a united front within our community to increase our strength, our wisdom and knowledge as we look towards working with Ontario, uh, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Council, as well as Canada to settle our land claims once and for all within the Haldeman Tract. From the beginning, I have encouraged all parties to engage in an open and respectful dialogue that is guided by good faith. Our elected council continues to engage with all parties almost daily to find ways for a timely resolution to the current situation and to all of our outstanding land claims within our Haldeman Tract. Our land claims process has been driven by many of the same reasons the land defenders have been occupying the site. We hope to find justice and healing for our entire community to the resolution of our claims within the Haldeman Tract. We again continue to call for a peaceful resolution to the 1492 land back lane dispute 
that avoids any violence and destructions at all costs. We also continue to encourage all Ontarians and Canadians to listen to the land defenders and learn more about the true history of not only the land under dispute, but of that of the entire Holloman tract. This conflict goes much deeper than the site and extends much further than over a hundred days. And again, we continue, uh, sorry, we continue to encourage um, to educate. And like each week, again, I wanna extend my gratitude and appreciation to our local radio stations for allowing me to continue to provide the community with these regular updates. Again, Six Nations, two local radio stations are another important element of our community's ability, ability to gather and share important information and strengthen our culture and sense of community. Uh, until then, Six Nations, please stay safe, stay healthy, uh, and take care until I see you next week. Yawa, and thank you. Thank you, Chief Hill. And uh, thanks to all of you very much once again for uh, joining us here at CKRZ. Stay safe, healthy, and have a terrific weekend.